Hey guys, I just wanted to remind you something really quick and um, encourage you. And it's simply that even in your unfaithfulness, God remains faithful. God is always faithful. He is a faithful, everlasting God. He is a faithful, almighty, true and living Lord. He is a faithful Father. Even in your unfaithfulness, God remains faithful. Even in your imperfectness, God remains faithful. Even in your flesh, God remains faithful. Even in your inconsistency, God remains faithful because he is consistent. He's unchanging, okay? He's not wishy-washy. He's not flaky. God is faithful. Hallelujah. And um, hopefully that just takes some pressure off of anybody who may be trying to try too hard to be perfect. It's impossible. You have flesh. Flesh, just give yourself some rest and just remember that even in your moments of weaknesses, God gives you the grace to keep going, okay? Um, if the Lord will gave Jesus Christ the strength to keep carrying his cross up until the point where he was hung up on it after he then got flogged, and then bled however much. If God can give his own son the grace to keep carrying his cross, the Lord will extend that same measure and grace to you today. He will extend that same measure of grace for you to get through whatever valley it is that you may be in. He will give you that same measure of grace to forgive you of whatever it is that you may not be able to forgive yourself for. Uh, for. He'll give you that grace to forgive yourself because why? He already forgave us of all of our sin, all of our hurt, all of our wrongdoings, all of our mistakes long ago when he sent his one and only son to hang up on that cross and die for our sins. So we plead the blood of Jesus against the guilt. We plead the blood of Jesus against the shame. We plead the blood of Jesus against the heartbreak. We plead the blood of Jesus against the pain, the sickness, the illness, whatever it is that may try and have a grip on us. We call it a liar in Jesus' name. And we plead the blood of Jesus. Why? Because God is faithful and he's unchanging. And I pray that you have better days ahead of you. I pray that you wake up in a better mindset. I pray that you are filled with this joy that is immeasurable, that is abundant. I pray that the Lord blesses you with this spirit of happiness. I pray that the Lord will bless you with the spirit of peace, the spirit of rest, because he is the Prince of Peace. I pray that you will sleep so heavenly at night and that he holds you in his arms because he is our Abba, he is our Father, and he loves you. Okay, so um, things are going to get better for you. There's better days ahead. And although you may not be in the best even mindset or, you know, state of being right now, whatever it is that you may be going through, it's just a season. Every storm passes, okay? And Jesus is going to hold your hand and he's going to help you get through it. He's going to help you walk on water just like he commanded Peter to step on the boat and walk on water. Because why? He is faithful. Hallelujah. God bless you guys. I love you guys. And I'll see you guys soon.